so when it comes to me i i belongs to a, a rural area from you know a north maharashtra region where uh, when when i uh, came to you know when i was realizing about myself said i was quite different but there was a lot lack of information there was lack of uh, you know sources where i could reach out to or ask information because usually even in india even in today uh, we do not have that support system in the school where we approach a counselor or a teacher or for that example for friends i cannot really talk about my sexuality or my sexual preferences because again that becomes a huge issue for me then there is a risk of bullying you know sexual violence sexual abuse so so those are the things at the personal level which hampered me and uh, as an indian society we really do not uh, you know discuss about uh, you know sex sexuality gender as a topic during you know do, during the family gathering or over the table of you know dinner table we we cannot talk about it so i think those issue i have faced at the personal level but when it comes to my sexuality my parents have accepted me uh it was not a uh, you know uh, it was not an easy for them because uh, they had some certain uh, you know expectation from me as an as an boy or as a male person in their family but i challenge those uh whatever we say the responsibility roles in the society but they have accepted me they have taken the those step towards you know accepting my sexuality and now they are they are reaching that stage where they have accepted me but still they have you know that hope that maybe one day i would turn straight and say hey i want to get married to a girl but i think that is not happening but i think it's their perception but uh, for me uh, for me i i keep having those conversation with them whenever i get a chance to initiate those uh, or whenever i visit my home uh, but yeah i think uh, that, that that is my uh, uh, personal experience uh, so far uh so for me i think uh, i i'm 36 right now but i came out when i was probably uh, 20 that uh, around the time when i was 19 or 20 when i realized uh, and i was it was a long coming out process for me because now i uh, identify myself as a biromantic demisexual and for me it was easy to come out as someone who's bisexual as opposed to someone who's demisexual uh because my parents still i struggle with the fact that they still are not able to understand or people around me still not able to understand that what it means when you fall in the sexuality spectrum uh so that is something that i still face problem with but when i say i come from a smaller town uh it's a smaller city compared to bombay it's it's in gujarat and there well people did understand what uh, what what lgbtq is but they would just brush it aside saying oh okay fine that is your or then maybe pick on it saying that oh it's because you're of your sexuality for the longest uh, i think somewhere around uh, when i was 19 20 21 22 they used to call me my name is megha so they would call me gegha and you know things like that <laughs> things like that so um yeah so that uh, i still face some form of discrimination but i think when i work with hum safar it gives me the power it gives me the strength to fight back and uh, when i tell people it's yeah. easier for me to actually come out to them when i say i work uh, for uh, hum safar trust i work with hum safar trust uh, i work with the lgbtq community so they are like okay you're part of the community and it starts a conversation so that has been my journey um, yeah for me it was a uh, like a uh... uh you know uh, uh, uh quite a journey for me uh, i have a uh, you know i have a engineering background i work for a couple of you know corporate uh, environment but i really uh, did not feel comfortable working in the heteronormative environment and then and that that i was in uh, uh, another city i was not in bombay so uh, uh, i was in pune which is 200 km from uh, mumbai uh and which is called as a tech city so i i i am a tech guy so i was working for a couple of corporate there and i was bit uncomfortable working in that environment and that's where i came to know about uh one of the support group in pune which works for lgbtq uh, and the organization called the samapathik trust and then i was very curious to know about samapathik and one day i just randomly visited the organization and i saw uh, there are couple of transgender working and the people like me working very you know proudly openly out there and i think that was the moment which gave me uh, you know that uh, 
you know uh, i think that was a moment where i started or decided rather that uh, i would work for my community and i started i i started volunteering with the uh, organization in in the beginning but then uh, eventually i left my uh, corporate job and i joined there uh, as a samapathik trust i work for samapathik almost for 5 years and samapathik is the sorry the hamsafar trust is the the mother organization of uh, uh, samapathik trust so then i came to know about hamsafar and there was a opening in hamsafar 5 years ago so now it's been 5 years that i have been working with hamsafar and that's where i came to know about hamsafar and my journey started and uh it was it, it was not just a professional journey but quite a personal journey as well because it gave me a courage to come out to my parents uh, accept me who i am i i i met lots of uh, people uh, in in personal life and professional life so i think uh, that was a good uh, move for me to move from you know a, a corporate world to a social development sector um so i started my journey at hamsafar about a year ago but before that like i said i was uh, i did my higher education in us so i was in philadelphia and that is when i got uh, involved with the lgbtq community because i used to live in gayborhood and uh, i was already out to myself and that is when i started working with the lgbtq community and people uh, pl people living with hiv and then when i came back to india uh, for about 7 years i was in this, like i said the small town of baroda vadodara and they did not have an active community there so i tried uh, looking for places where i could uh, find the community looking online everywhere talking to people there was just one pe- person i remember who was out uh, and uh, i asked her questions and now i know that there are a lot more places in baroda you could go to but at that time there was nothing and then i moved to mumbai in 2008 2017, and uh, I tried getting in touch with uh, Hamsafar Trust for volunteer uh, opportunities, and then they had uh, an opening in uh, 2018 for a uh, counselling head, and that is when I joined Hamsafar and became uh, really active in the community. For one, I would thank my training for that because uh, it has my training as a mental health professional. They have taught us. how to when you pack your bags and leave for home you leave a part of it behind but when you're working for the community when you are the community it gets little difficult yeah. um but the thing is that uh when i get 10 phone calls saying that okay i i i'm in this remote part of india and i don't know what to do i don't i can't find a community and there is that one phone call which uh one one person called and saying oh you know what thanks to you i moved to delhi i moved to bombay i moved to pune and i found this this amazing place and now i'm working and i'm doing what i wanted to do so that is that one hope that uh, that keeps me going keeps yeah keeps you going yeah given the times you are in right now uh, it looks a little grim but yeah i am hopeful because uh, as we can see that uh, just last year it it hasn't even been a year since yeah. uh, they struck down 377 so that's something that we we really hopeful we'll see, we might see civil unions in future uh there'll be more acceptance and uh, we right now we see like uh uh companies you know really uh gaining it up if you will uh they have like uber ola and uh, things like that they had this whole they they capitalizing on lgbtq uh it's not necessarily problematic because then it is making us making our community more visible so i think it's it, it looks it's hopeful yeah it's a good uh, it's a good sign i just wanted to mention about two things here very quickly so uh, one of the initiative of hamsafar trust one is the umang which is a support group for lgbt community we have another support group for lgbtq which is uh, specifically for young lgbtq which is called yaria which means friendship uh, so yaria is a uh, we have a, a, a close facebook group it's a secret facebook group where we have a uh, more than 8500 member from across india we have a community member there we have allies there we have a few friends straight friends of the community and it's a really a active forum where you can see you know 24/7 discussions are going on if someone is facing any harassment issue so that gets reported to yaria yaria also do a offline events where we are a part of the uh, mumbai pride which organizes a gay pride in mumbai every year so we are a active part of it we also celebrate a, a, a pride month which is a january and we have a quite uh, you know uh, important event which was which, uh, which are organized by yaria 
even in uh, in coming 15th of august independence day for india we have a signature event called the acceptance meet so the acceptance meet where we call parents of lgbtq friends of lgbtq colleagues to share their acceptance story because what we have noticed that we often share our acceptance story but parents also have their acceptance stories even the colleague also have their acceptance story because everyone for everyone it is not easy to accept you as who you are so it is a chance for the parents to share their experiences with other so we call acceptance meet uh, so acceptance meet it happens every year which is a quite uh, you know a significant event of yari i'm sorry yaria uh, another initiative of hamsafar trust is sanjeevni sanjeevni is basically it means life so sanjeevni is the support group for people living with hiv because uh, we notice that and our research proves that uh, there is a high prevalence amongst uh, msm men who have a sex with men and transgender women uh, hiv prevalence so we have a support group if somebody tested positive uh, you know in our clinic or in our uh, intervention so we do link them to uh, a support sanjeevni support group because it is important to have their support structure in place and sanjeevni also help them to you know uh, get different different services uh, at the minimal cost they also pro provide nutrition or nutrition counseling so things like that so these are some initiative of hamsafar trust that which we have been working from last 25 years and 2019 is our silver jubilee year and uh, i would just say uh, from last 25 years we are, we are still surviving and the, we hope to see that uh, you know the society where you know no will uh, based on your gender or your sex or sexual orientation so we are hopeful towards the accepting society